Will Smith, everybody! Have yourself M&Ms. an M&M. m and M's. See, yeah. see, I'm good at that. Are you good at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good at that. Can you do that? Uh, I normally am, but a bit tonight. Go. Stuff That's it up because you, you got it really well. That's what Daddy loves. That was good. That was great. No, we spent the whole night doing this. Wait, no, really. Dude, are, how, you are, well? you are you good? Are you good? You missed it. He gets it. Come on, move quicker. Gotcha. No, no. How you good? Are you doing okay? I'm man. I'm doing so good. It's almost a daggone shame. <laughs> Life is incredible right now. Now the Oscar nomination. Yeah. A week into it, has it sunk in? Hold on. I'm sorry. I have to take my Oscar nominee pose now. <laughs> well. Actually, <laughs> when, I re- when I received the nomination, I was at home with the wife. <laughs> no, um, that feels so weird. Mm. It feels so, I mean, I'm the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> you know, you know, it's like an Oscar nomination. You know, Russell Crowe and Denzel Washington. I, I, I just, it just feels like... Um, yeah, not, not like a dream, if you, you know, because I, I do remember doing the work and working really hard, but it just, it feels like such a long shot, you know, and, and it, it happened. And I mean, if, I'm excited about it, but uh, it's kind of scary. The nominee aspect of it is better than actually winning or losing. You know, just being an Oscar nominee feels incredible. But like after the event is over, if you won, now people expect your movies to be good. <laughs> And from now on, yeah. whenever you do anything, anytime they introduce you in a film trailer or preview, to be, yeah. and Oscar nominee, Will, Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> Sounds and good. And the guy's voice is going to get really deep, right? Yeah. You know, and the Oscar nominee. <laughs> <laughs> See, the kooky one wouldn't work. Oscar nominee, Will Smith. Yeah, that work. doesn't, no. no that's, uh, that's, the old, that's the old days. So what do you think your chances are? Well, uh, uh, none. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... You know, Russell Crowe was just brilliant in, uh, in, uh, in a beautiful... There's that damn fly. See, the big stars. There's that fly. You? That fly. Uh, we'll oh, get him this time. No, no that's a land. big fly. I don't want to fight. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, it's a pterodactyl. <laughs> it's not going to land. I got it. I got it. Jeez. Ling, 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 ling. That thing is huge. What the hell are you feeding your flies around here? <laughs> that's Did a... you see that thing? Now, let me, let me tell you he's something. Going by, he's like... He's like... He's like... He's like... And that's a small one down here, mate. <laughs> God, they're this big down there. They're huge. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the movie. <laughs> but when you were making the movie, did you yeah. think uh, uh, when you were making it, oh, yeah, I, I feel an Oscar nomination coming. No, you know what? It's, uh, there, there's like uh, 15 award shows that lead up to the Oscars, you know, and... Support, everyone says, well, this, you know, the Golden Globes, that predicts the Oscar, and the, you know, the, uh, the SAG Awards, that predicts the Oscar, and every, they go through all that, and I didn't win nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was like, well, damn. <laughs> all these predictions, they predicted me to not get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, you don't, you never really have the sense that you're going to win. You, you, you may have the sense that you feel like you've done exceptional work. I definitely felt after I got away from it for a while and I watched the film, I felt like the work was really good. Um, but you never, you never know about the awards, which way it'll go. And how hard was it preparing for the role? Because you are amazing in it. People will watch this and think it actually is Muhammad Ali. Why, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dare I say it, Oscar nomination <laughs> worthy. <laughs> But seriously, um, but, uh, how hard was it to pre- prepare for it? Oh, man, uh, we prepared probably for a year. Um, boxing training, I would train probably six or seven hours a day. Uh, physical training, I had uh, Islamic studies. I had uh, dialect training. Uh, Michael Mann, who is pure genius, just his, his brain just works differently than other people's brains work. And... He, he called a neurobiologist 
who came in and was, in ex and was explaining to me the interworkings of the human brain and how to create neural passages. <laughs> so, uh, At yeah, this point, no. we're going, I'm just acting. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a movie, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I don't need no neuro, neuro bio, biologist, you know, change, because he might adjust my stuff that I got going on. <laughs> but uh, no, well, I, he had me sitting in a dark room, and I would watch a loop of Muhammad Ali's moves for a half hour before I went to bed, and then 15 minutes when I woke up in the morning, and it was supposed to help create neural passages that would help me to see. You see all you saw how fast <laughs> that was, that? right? Neural yeah, passage right there. Yeah, wow, you didn't move, though. Yeah. That's scary. It's because I was, I was too scared. <laughs> you were too scared, right? <laughs> I thought that fly might have come back as well. <laughs> now, well, how was it when you actually met the man himself? Oh, that's, it was very scary. Um, I, met, I met Ali because uh, I had turned the role down for about five years. How do you um, do that? How do you just turn around and go, Pff, no, not yeah, interested? Yeah, you know what? It's, it Sorry, just Men in seemed... Black 2 to make. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm punching aliens. <laughs> um, no, it just seemed entirely too huge. It seemed impossible. I, could, I couldn't figure out what the road was from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you know, that's a long road oh, right yeah. there. I just, and I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't see how I would make the journey. And Michael Mann was really the first person that made it clear to me what the journey would be. And uh, I met Ali probably like two weeks after I had turned the film down for the third time. And I saw him at the uh, NAACP Image Awards. And I walked, I said, hey champ, how you doing? And he said, uh, he said, you ain't pretty enough to play me anyway. <laughs> and I was like, no, champ, it's just uh, too much respect for you and your family. And he just, you know, every year they sent me the script again. And then uh, finally uh, I uh, took it. And then I'm an Oscar nominee. <laughs> <laughs> would he, would, would, uh, would uh, uh, Ali himself come in on set and, yeah, and, he would come and like, guide you and say, no, I did it this way, I did it that way? Um, you know, he really, he, he did, he and his family, they were there. And they were there if we needed them, but they weren't trying to force themselves on the project. I, you know, I talked to Ali uh, a couple of times prior to the film. I said, is there something specific that you want me to, to concentrate on illuminating? Or is there something specific that you want avoided? And he said, just find the truth and tell the truth. And I said, yeah, champ, but the truth is that, you know, <laughs> you with all the ladies, you know. What it is. <laughs> he said, you know, just, just find the truth and tell it. And, and uh, I think that Michael Mann did an, a brilliant job of doing that. Now, what, the, the one thing most people will notice when they go to see the movie, one thing I notice, is that in the fight scenes, when they do it in slow-mo, when you're throwing a punch, mm -hmm. you're connecting and people are connecting with you. Yeah. Big time Hollywood actor, <laughs> and you're going, yeah, just pound the living crap out of me. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> you know, there's... Uh, all, all of the fight films. And, ooh, yeah, geez. Oh, oh wow. And there's even sound effects. Look, look at that. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Look, I look good. Mm, see? Yes. See? Bang, oh, look, bang. Look, back up. Back I can't even see. It's a blur. Look, it's a blur. Look, it's a blur. I'm just so, I'm fast. I'm fat. You see how fast I was? I couldn't. <laughs> man. <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. You could get arrested for moving yeah. that fast. <laughs> no, but we, uh, that, that was uh, Michael Bent. He played Sonny Liston, uh, former WBO champion. And we all, there's no, there's no actors in any of the fighting roles. It's, I mean, I'm the only actor that was in, in those rings. And the fighters, we all decided very early that we weren't going to do any Hollywood fighting. That when you see fighters get, when you see people get hit in this film, it's because they got hit. You know, we shot it pretty much like a stunt. We would, we would set it up. Um, we would know basically what we were doing. And when the cameras rolled, people were getting hit for real. Well, how much of a blow does that uh, cause on your body if you're getting pounded? Um, it hurts uh, bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it really hurts. Um, it's, it's the shame. You ever, you ever been knocked out before or knocked down? <laughs> no. Nah. No? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a bright blue flash, right? Mm -hmm. And then you hear... Oh, hell, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> and there's something that's really... It's like something really liberating when you stand up. When you get hit and you mm. get knocked down and you stand up, there's like this new man that's created inside of you. But the strangest thing in the world, when you get hit, your mind goes to the most bizarre place. I remember thinking, where are my car keys? <laughs> no, really. I'm telling you, you start, you start thinking, wow, you know, I could go for a hamburger. You know, <laughs> you're, you're getting punched in your head, you start thinking the most bizarre things So, when, in the so world. now, if you were to be walking down the street and someone comes up to you and goes, hey, you know, let's say you win the Oscar, hey, give me your Oscar in your wallet, would uh, you be able to just go, I say, hey. See? <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> slow down on the neuropsychological wow, the, side of things. Wh what? That's your like. That's like that's a new what I do. style. That's, that's your, what I do. Do that. Do that again. It's the sound. Do what? that. Easy. Oh, sure. <laughs> could go on. I'm a guest. Go I'm off. a guest. Go on. <laughs> wow, pachang! I gotta try that. <laughs> Easy, my pet. So, for good, not evil. So that's good, what you say evil. to like somebody comes up on you and they try to take something from yeah. you. You, go, <laughs> you confuse them with yeah. sound effects, and while they're, while they're going, what on earth are you and doing? Saying, you run away like a girl. Saying, that boy is a damn fool. That's how a damn fool. <laughs> so could, do you reckon you could defend yourself now? Do you feel more confident? No, when you're I feel, down I the feel very, very confident. There's, there's a thing that happens when, when you learn, learn how to fight, and it's really in the first half hour. You, you skyrocket, you know, for just as far as street fights. Because in a street fight, you know that the guy's going to heave a big right hand. In a street fight, he's going to go... Argh! So when you know that ahead of time, the second that a guy starts talking, you say, okay, he's about to throw his right hand. And as soon as he throws his right hand, I'm going to punch his nose off. <laughs> and, then it's, and, then, and, then you, and then you go, what, And then he goes... Ah! <laughs> you know, I'm and gonna then, try that. I'm try. gonna try that in the street. You know, hey, Will, Will, give us your autograph. What <laughs> Lights out. That's yeah, the way it that's, works. That's, that's, that's hot, though. You should, like, make that a style. I, I'm going to copyright Roll it. Fool. <laughs> I put the fool in the fool. Is the way it works. Now, what I love also in this is that uh, very rarely do you see husband and wives playing mm -hmm. uh, lovers on screen. Mm -hmm. But uh, you've got uh, Jada is in yep. it playing uh, Muhammad's first wife. Sanji. Uh, and, uh, oh, here we go. A bit of the oh. love. A bit of the love. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 man. Now, is it weird, is it weird uh, trying to kiss and be intimate when uh, it's something you probably do all day every day in yeah, the privacy right. of your own home, but when you've got a camera crew around you, is it weirder? Yeah, it feels very strange and awkward when there's a camera crew around because I mean I mean we'll have sometimes at home we have our tripod set up yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but, um, no it's just it is so awkward it's like you know when you see a lot of times you see love scenes in movies and you say wow they was they was doing the thing you know <laughs> No, there's a dude sitting on the side eating a sandwich, and you know, <laughs> the the cameraman is saying, you, "Put your put your lip tighter, on, get your face." Close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, grab her breast, grab her breast. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, let me. I can. I've done this before. Let me let me do this. You know, so it's just really an awkward moment. But you know, that's really my first love scene. So doing it with my wife made it a lot easier because when something's awkward. You just laugh mm. versus it being awkward and then you're embarrassed, you know. And had Jada done a love scene before? Oh yeah, no, she, she yeah, she's, <laughs> uh, you know, she's uh, she's done plenty of love scenes, there you know. You so go. she was instru she was instructing me. She kept saying, "Baby, your mouth is too wide. Your mouth is too wide. Make your mouth smaller, cause when it's on the screen, it's gonna be this big. You know? <laughs> you know? You're gonna look like a damn whale. Close your mouth." <laughs> You know, so she's done, she's done a few. She has the uh, love scene science all the way down. Oh, very good. Uh, well, uh, the movie Ali opens Thursday. Please thank Will Smith, everybody. <laughs>